Alright, so you're here with Junkyard Off-Road again, Daniel, and uh, we're sitting here with my 89 Bronco. So, earlier I was getting some video, I'll tell you what happened, I had my wife filming for me, had her put it on my, put my phone on my bumper, so now I, the, the only way I could video was like this because I ended up backing over my phone. But it's a Samsung Active, so... It cracked my screen, that's about it. Here's my roof as of now. That's not looking bad for spray paint for rattle can. I don't think. That's just the black enamel. I'm gonna go back over that with a clear coat. I did sand and sealer. I didn't even sand that out. I just said the heck with it. And I painted this and yeah, when you get up here, you can see, if you look closely, you can still see the little chips and stuff like that because I'm not going to take all that time to go over it and really smooth it out. That's going to take me a lot of sandpaper, a lot of time. So now we're walking back over here to where the shell is. Here is the shell. And I used 3M on that. It took me about four cans of the uh, camo spray paint I went over with a glue they said that's supposed to help it the the fibers stay on and together keep it from fraying and I just rattle can this whole thing the top that's a large large flat speed piece to get done but Try and get a few different angles. I think it personally turned out pretty sharp myself. I got a few runs and a few dents and scrapes in here. Some of the spots where water has hit the top from automatic, those automated uh, wash, uh, car washers. And I got this here, like all the rough spots are showing a little bit so I may have to go back over that but there's the top and my seal is kind of junk but just nice smooth even movements with spray spray can and man this thing came out looking good I went back with a tan I'm actually debating because I've got a black Bronco I may actually go find me a white a flat white to go back over it I'm just not sure at this point in time I can see a few spots that I need to hit up you can see right here where the rails are you can see I've got cover in between the rails the rails cover where, where the rails used to sit covered really well that never really got weathered so that's something you got to think about is you're gonna to want to go over it probably two times and it'll be a while before I do that take save up some more money get some more paint find some more time to do it but so there's junkyard off-road that's uh painting the shell painting the hood or not the hood the roof of my 89 ford bronco de bauer and uh it, it turned out pretty good i'm pretty impressed with it i mean i'm not really much of a painter uh i did houses not cars so I'm pretty impressed with the way it's looking and I'm going to do a clear coat of enamel on my roof and I'll get a video of that and post that too. So all y'all looking to find out you know, what your options are, this is one of them. I mean, that's not bad for spray paint. Y'all make sure you like and share, follow us, help us out here, try and, you know, grow. Y'all have a good one.